What's going on, people? How y'all feeling today? Now, a lot of things have been going on lately. This whole corona nonsense, and I don't think people understand how important this time is, and we'll probably n- never get this time again. People who go to work, you know, you're having time to actually sit home and create your reality, which is all around you. And you're going to have to learn how to use and tap into your subconscious mind, which you subconsciously use, but you don't understand quite how it works. So this video is going to teach you about your subconscious mind and how it shifts and shapes your entire reality and what's going on inside of your incredible bodies. Because at this point, your body is basically a shell around your spirit. Your spirit is encased into your body right now, but your body, which your subconscious mind does live in, has infinite wisdom, which you can tap into whenever you want. So this video is about your subconscious mind. Now, your subconscious mind is the constant builder of your body and maintains all your vital functions while awake and sleep. When you're sleeping, you don't remember to breathe. It just happens. You don't remember to digest. It just happens. And it does this 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Your subconscious mind always helps to preserve you from any harm in any way humanly possible. Your subconscious mind is in touch with infinite wisdom and sees it to your ideas to come forth into reality. So I'm not sure if you understand this, but whether you like it or not, your reality is created by what you subconsciously think, which controls 95% of everything that you are today. Basically, your deepest convictions, what you know will be true, but cannot argue them rationally, will come from your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind speaks to you in gut feelings, impulses, intuition, urges, and ideas. It always speaking to you, telling you the secrets to grow and transcend and move forward to greater heights. All of this comes from the depths of your subconscious mind. People who have had disabilities and injuries that have been diagnosed as uncurable, but in times of great need, okay, need, like right now. And belief can perform tasks beyond these conditions as though they didn't exist at all with the sheer power of your subconscious mind. Great creators and producers of time, such as musicians and performers, tap into this great power of their subconscious mind to bring on their great creations. At this point, you're sitting home. You're trying to figure out what to do. Right now, you need to stop and ask your subconscious mind What can I do today that will serve my higher self? And the answer will pop right into your head because you always had the answer. But now you are putting yourself in a position where you choose to listen to the answer and do what it says. Check this, y'all. A man by the name of Robert Louis Stevenson used to command his subconscious mind to give him stories step by step in his dreams before he went to bed when his bank account started to go low. He said the intelligence from his deeper mind gave him stories piece by piece, proving the unlimited reservoir of your subconscious mind. You people don't realize that there is an endless, endless reservoir that you can pull all your ideas from whenever you set the intention to do that. Intention is extremely powerful. You have to set the intention. You have to actually feel The feeling, because you can't sit there and talk to your conscious mind saying, I am wealthy and you don't believe you're wealthy because your subconscious mind hears what you really don't believe and acts upon that, which brings you not being wealthy to your reality. Now, now what always interests me about the conscious mind and the subconscious mind is how they communicate and what systems they used, basically through the cerebral spinal system and the sympathetic system. Now, the cerebral spinal system is the organ of the conscious mind, which is how you receive conscious perception by your five senses and control movement of your body. This channel has its nerves in the brain, the channel of your conscious mental action. The sympathetic system is the organ of the subconscious mind, also known as the involuntary nervous system. This is located at the back of the abdomen 
where your solar plexus is. Body's the conduit to the mind. Get making sense to y'all? Basically, where your most important brain is located, the subconscious mind, which is why I call it the first brain. This supports the vital functions in the body without any conscious thought. Now, the way these two communicate, the vagus nerve pass out of the cerebral region and the portion of the voluntary system. Through it, we control the vocal organs. This passes the thorax, sending out branches to the heart and lungs. Then passing through the diaphragm, it loses its outer coating, which then distinguishing the nerves of the voluntary system become identified with the nerves of the involuntary system, forming a connecting link between the two, making a single human entity. Which is why I say the first brain is there, because what you speak, your thoughts, and your speech becomes actual physical reality. Control everything, because you cannot trick or manipulate your subconscious mind just by saying things you do not believe. You must consciously change the programming so your subconscious mind can bring what you really want to you. Change your body because where does your subconscious mind live? In the back of your abdomen, in a ganglionic mass back there, baby, where your solar plexus is. So some of y'all with your solar plexus chakras all closed up. No wonder why things aren't working for you. You're not eating right and you're not getting your energy right. And when you, get, you eat right, you get your energy right, which is why you should eat life food, food that has energy. Your body is your conduit to your mind. So I hope you learned something today about what's going on in your beautiful biological vessel that your soul is encased in. Know your future. Speak your future. Become your future. Because you visualize and you see and you feel your future. So all you're doing is creating a timeline for what's going to happen. You're moving towards it because it's already happened. Because time in another dimension is going on at the same time, all the time, all around you at one time. All you're doing is controlling the way you get there. Love y'all. To the next video. See y'all soon. Peace.